In this video today we are going to answer a question that has been plaguing a lot of people's minds and that is if Godzilla can be called a dinosaur kaiju or a dragon kaiju. Many of us know that Godzilla has features that could be attributed to both classes of reptiles and yes, he is mainly a reptilian kaiju well except for the anime Godzilla Earth where he is a plant based life form for some reason. Many of Godzilla's fans say that he is a dinosaur kaiju because he was designed by taking the T-Rex or at least the old T-Rex model where it was standing upright into consideration. Others ask about the famous atomic breath and that it was obviously inspired by flame breathing dragons. So this one is a doozy. Anyway, let's hit this topic right away. Anyway, let's start with Godzilla's origins. Within the context of the Japanese films, Godzilla's exact origins vary but it is generally depicted as an enormous, violent prehistoric sea monster awakened and empowered by nuclear radiation. The tri-star Godzilla was actually an iguana so let's leave that one out. And also Godzilla Earth where it is a plant-based life form. Most of us Godzilla evolved before the dinosaurs even came to be, basically even before reptiles so this makes it even hard to classify this kaiju as a dragon or a dino. Shin and Singular Point doesn't even make it any easier with their rapidly evolving forms that changes from aquatic to terrestrial in the span of a few days. So let's see the similarities between Godzilla and dinosaurs. Originally thought of as a mythical dinosaur-like creature with the ability to breathe atomic energy, Godzilla resembles a Tyrannosaurus rex in that it has short arms and has armored plates on its back that resembles large, bony maple leaves similar to those on a Stegosaurus. Godzilla is actually a deformed unique species of dinosaur called Godzillasaurus according to the 1991 film Godzilla vs King Ghidorah. And a fun fact, there is an actual dinosaur whose fossils were dug up and given the name Gojirasaurus. The Godzillasaurus from the movie gives the dino theory a credible edge and it is canon to the kaiju. This dino is different from other theropods because its posture is more upright and at 12 meters in height, it is much larger than any other. It has a smaller head and has a double row of teeth. But most of all, it is the one that was exposed to radiation giving rise to the big G. But this is only true for the Heisei incarnation, while others from the Showa era to the millennium and others did not share the same origin story. So the question now is what distinguishes dinosaurs from other reptiles? Well, reptiles such as crocodiles and lizards have legs that sprawl out to the side. Their thigh bones are almost parallel to the ground. They walk and run on a side to side motion. Dinosaurs on the other hand stand with their legs positioned directly under their bodies. A hole in their hip socket permits, permits this upright stance. This posture allows dinosaurs to run faster and with greater endurance than other reptiles that are the same size. And that was the definitive evolutionary design that differentiates dinos from other reptiles and as far as to our knowledge, Godzilla also have the same characteristics. So now let's shift to the similarities between Godzillas and dragons. Godzilla might be classified as a dragon but not in the classic sense. Godzilla is a wingless dragon that is solely anchored to earth which could be referred to as a terrestrial grounded dragon. And before we label him as a kaiju, keep that in mind that dragons can also be considered kaiju since the word kaiju literally means giant monster and that is a vague term given that even Ghidorah, a kaiju, is also a three-headed dragon. On one hand, he is a humanoid dinosaur-like dragon that is Godzilla and he breathes radiation, not fire per se, and he has a sci-fi origin. He is a destructive giant reptile with a heat-based breath weapon. Under a loose definition, yes, he is a dragon-type kaiju, but his sci-fi dinosaur origins also makes him more of a unique paradox. An extract from the medievalist called Sarah Dunn well, she said that in Japanese lore, the dragon deity called Ryujin is considered the god of the sea in the region Shinko, an offshoot of the Japanese religion Shinto. There's even a dragon palace at the bottom of the sea, further connecting Japanese dragons to the oceans that surround the island nation. Though based in part of the Japanese dragons like Ryujin, Godzilla takes on a new composite form as Godzilla is an entirely new form of destruction. This theory brings up valid arguments to consider Godzilla as a dragon as he is both mysterious and destructive, has powers and is a reptile. And there are also various other sea dragons in global myths like the Leviathan and the Makara which do not at all look like modern depictions of dragons with wings. So with that we come to the other side of the story, the differences. 
Well, we are gonna look at the dinosaur Godzilla differences as well as the dragon Godzilla differences. Now let's see, Godzilla is way too big to be an actual dinosaur which can be held up in a debate except for the Heisei incarnation which was definitively shown to be a dino exposed to radiation and then evolved into the big J. In other versions, it's first of all way too big, secondly dinosaurs don't have energy based breaths, thirdly Godzilla originated in the modern era and maybe in the future for other versions, millions of years later after the KT extinction event which wiped out all dinosaurs. So what about the dragon theory? Godzilla isn't actually a winged dragon in the modern sense. It has no wings but there are also lots of other sea dragons and wingless ones too. Godzilla is definitely not anything like a western or even a Chinese dragon in design. And also he doesn't have a serpentine body like most dragons are traditionally depicted. So what is he? So what is our conclusion? Well Godzilla definitely has the evolutionary trait of dinosaurs in that he is a reptile that can stand upright due to the few sacral bones in the pelvis region. Aside from the Heisei incarnation, the others can only be loosely classified as having dinosaur-like traits. Other than that, Godzilla as a dragon theory has a lot of weight on it, mostly because dragons are vague in definition. And he fits the role perfectly as a sea dragon with immense powers that could be considered magical in the olden times. So what is Godzilla, a dragon or a dino? Not truly one or the other but a mix of both. That is our conclusion. And with that we come to the end of the video. Do like for support, subscribe and smash that bell button for regular updates on new monster videos right here on this channel. Till the next one, take care fam.